a very popular sci-fi author, Neil Stevenson, who basically has been saying recently that sci-fi has become way too dystopian, uh-huh. and that it's basically failing to inspire people like sci-fi in the 50s was yeah. doing, inspiring the next generation of engineers and scientists. Do, do, you, uh, do you think that's true, and do you take that into account at all in terms of your selections for the course? Well, um, I always include I always include Asimov, so there is there is an idea of a future that's not dystopian, a little more realistic. Um, I I do I do like to include Neil Stevenson. I think every student should read Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy. So um, you know, before they graduate, that that should be like a graduation requirement from. From my perspective, um, so so I think certainly in my choice, there's a blend of um, of what kinds of of fiction I include. I had one student last year write a paper on Transformers, and I'm like, I don't, you know, I have no background in Transformers. You need to, you know, it's not like writing a paper about Star Wars. You actually have to set up the universe for me. And she really struggled to get it small enough. To, to make it understandable, but there's there's a lot of fiction out there. Some of it some of it is dystopian and may or may not be inspiring, but but some of it is. And students find what's in, what inspires them. I try to have a broad enough range that something will inspire them. What is the most interesting or informative sci-fi book or novel that that you tend to cover? And why is it so interesting? Um, well, I love Neil Stevenson's *The Diamond Age*, and I'm actually talking with a, a group of colleagues about having us read that as a as a book um, for kind of a. Basically, it's a monthly international discussion about engineering education research. I'm like, I, th- I think we should read fiction this year and not something else to improve us. The fiction should improve us enough. Um, but this idea that um, we can think about how information moves, we can think about how machine learning happens, how that parallels with um, with not just the machine learning but also human learning, and then what does adaptive technology really let us do? So maybe we can sh- shoot bullets out of our forehead, but maybe we can also really implement something that can can support society. 